Hello and welcome to the Stentech Forum. Today we are going to do GPS tracking using Arduino Uno. Previously on my channel, you have seen me my experiment with GPS where I was using a Raspberry Pi um, and a GPS dongle, and we were using essentially the NEMA interface. And that video, this video, was actually heavy on GPS theory. So this time around, what we are going to do, we are going to double click into GPS tracking and how it work with embedded devices. We will take a look into that. And for that, I'm going to first introduce you to the chip. This is a quite inexpensive chip I have ordered from eBay or Amazon.com. It is available. It is Bacon BE280 and it is six pin GPS chip, right? And these are the different pin numbers, their name, like pin number one, all the way to six, and why they are being used, their descriptions, right? So as you can see, we have ground, we have VCC for power, and then we have TX and RX for TTL, serial data output and input, right? So let me show you the connection first, and then we will come back to uh, our further discussion. All right, here we have our setup. So as you can see, this is Arduino Uno board, and this is our GPS chip, Beijing BE280. And I have already made the connection, but let me flip this and show you. This is the ceramic antenna, so you need to be uh, facing this antenna. You can place it near to your window or outside, outdoor, wherever you want to use the GPS. You need to face antenna side up. All right. About the connection, I have already shown you the connection diagram that how the connection works. With this, we have got a couple of different types of cable. I would like to show you this is one side is stitch or st stacked together and another side is this is a female plug then we have a different kind where again six wire stitch at one end and another end is available for any shouldering purposes what we are using though is Again, same six wire, but you can see here I'm using these male connectors, right? So as per our connection diagram, as we discussed, we have the ground connection, we have um, A, A0 and A1 connection, and here we have our TX and RX connected. It is getting 5 volt of power from Arduino circuitry itself. All right, one key thing I wanted to tell you is about the color of these wires. So since I ordered this from a vendor, the colors are not per any kind of color coding or guidelines, right? Generally, you would like to use red for power and gray or black for, um, for your ground, but that's not the case here. So you can pretty much ignore the color coding of wire. Just start with from the leftmost side, and count one, two, three, four, five, and six, and make the connection as I have shown you in the PPT. All right, so we'll, we, are, we have the connection up. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug in the Arduino so that the circuitry is powered up and our VTN controller is also get power. Then I'm going to place this near the window so that it can get some GPS signal and we will run a Arduino INO program. We are back. So now, since you have seen how to connect your uh, GPS chip with your Arduino Uno, and I have already powered it up now, right? So what you can do, you can go to your Arduino and search for some example program, right? If you can write your program, but let's let's use or find something which is already available, and for that. I recommend you going to Mikhail Hart's 
tiny GPS plus GitHub repo. You can go and clone this repo. And within this repo, you can see uh, there is a readme file. If you say a new customizable Arduino NEMA parsing library, the new full feature GPS uh, NEMA parser for Arduino, tiny GPS is new Arduino library for parsing NEMA data spring provided by GPS module, right? And if you go and look, look into some example sketch, you can see there are multiple example sketch, like basic example. And this is, if you expand this, this is a, a embedded a program. As you can see, some descriptions are there. But we will also use one of the program. And for that, we are going to use full example, full example dot ino. This sample code demonstrates the normal use of tiny GPS or tiny GPS plus object. It's required to use software serial and assume that you have a 4800 baud serial GPS device hooked up on pin 4 and 3. So this is how the connection should look like. What it does, it actually print uh, initially some uh, welcome messages like it will print uh, by testing tiny gps plus library by mikhail hart and then from there on it is going to look at the gps data and format it or predict it in this format where it is giving us latitude longitude date time and etc all right it also does one fun thing it actually give you a distance from distance to London. So wherever, whatever coordinate you are in, it calculate a distance to London, uh, mostly because Mikhail Hart is based in UK probably. So this is the program and we can very well reuse the program as is. All right, so let's go to our Arduino board. And within Arduino board, as you can see, I have the program already loaded. But if you don't have this program, what you can do, you can go to uh, Library Manager and search for Tiny GPS and look for Tiny GPS Plus. As you can see, Tiny GPS Plus by Mikhail Hart. It is installed and it is the latest version. All right, so since I have this installed and I have the program open, once you have this installed, if you are, want to know where the programs are, you can see I have the Tiny GPS library and within that, as you have seen in GitHub, same thing. You can go to full example and load this full example.ino file. All right. Right now, as you can see, no board is selected. So let's go ahead and select the board. As I select the board, you can see my serial port is also connected. Port is already connected. All right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to open up serial monitor as well. And as you can see, my serial monitor, I have to match the baud rate. And the baud rate for serial monitor is 11,500 in this program. Uh, sorry, that's 11,520. Yes, as you can see, this is our serial begin and it's a pretty large number. So if you don't match the serial, you will see the characters are gibberish. So let me go ahead and select the right character. And as you can see, no GPS data received. Check wiring. I'm pretty sure my wiring I'll take my words back. So I moved the wires <laughs> wrongly. And because of that, you can see uh, as soon as we fix the TXRX connection, the data started showing up. So we have latitude, longitude, date, time, and also the orientation. So the orientation, that means my antenna is facing northeast direction right now. So this is as simple as is to use the GPS. However, I want to show you one more thing. When you are using this program, you may you want to make sure that 
the baud rate since your baud rate for for every vendor the baud rates are different as you can see the baud rate supported is 4800 to this big number but the default is 3 38400 bps right so if you don't set the baud rates so we are talking about two different baud rate one baud rate is to understand the serial um, or interpret the serial data however this baud rate is for your gps chip and here you can see i have set the baud rate um, which comes from the default program is set to 4800 let me go ahead and upload this first verify and upload as you can see it's writing on the uh, program on the board and as soon as write this all i'm getting is asterisk that means it is not able to decode the data so what could be the problem because Mikhail Hart clearly tell you that assume that you have a 4800 baud serial GPS device hooked up and is my device is 4800 that you have to check and when I check that as you can see my default rate is 38400 so let me go and change the baud rate and upload the program again 38400 so i'm going to validate and upload again so it's going to write the program to the microcontroller and as soon as that is done you'll see the data interpretation or gps coordinates can be read properly right so make sure that you're using a right gps board at, which is as per your GPS chip specification. All right. So this is all I wanted to show you and I'll see you in next video. Please do like, subscribe, share, spread a word. Thank you.